demonstrated that today. Why not simply expel those students? Well, we have to be very careful under federal law and under the Constitution uh, in terms of what we do. We have to prove that they created, have created a hostile environment uh, for other students in their education, and so we're going to we're certainly going to do that. We have suspended students here before for uh, racial activities. It's been many years, and in fact, I thought we were long behind that because we've worked so hard to create a, a family environment here that it would be a, really a, a model for the rest of the country. So when something like this happens, I think again to change the culture and to make the point. Uh, very quick action, and I, we just can't, we can't have any tolerance whatsoever, zero tolerance, and I think we have to have that for all of American higher education and for all of the country. We, we, hear, we hear your stories on, on uh, following all your stories on Ferguson, and hear the story from Wisconsin today. Here, it keeps going on across the country, uh, uh, issues with the police, other kinds of issues, and I, I think we just have to s start, all of us, wherever we live, whatever we do, we have to say we have a zero tolerance it's, a policy as individuals. It's too. shocking to me, and I'm sure to almost everyone else, 50 years after Selma, and we just had commemorative ceremonies oh. over the weekend at Selma, this, this kind of chant could still be going on. How confident are, confident are you, Senator? This is just a tiny, isolated incident, because we heard some of the minority students at your university well, say they believe this has been going on for a long time, but it simply hasn't been caught on videotape. Well, I don't think it's an isolated incident. I don't think it's an isolated incident in, in the country. And I think it's far more widespread, and it's subtle. But that's what shocks me about this, is this is almost a return to the 1960s, the kind of exclusionary attitude that I thought we had already dealt with in this country. And uh, certainly it's been our intent to deal with it here. And I think we now have to engage in looking at other kinds of subtle forms of discrimination as well. And I've certainly invited uh, our students. We've been working very closely since uh, early this fall uh, to, to make some changes and make sure that all the committees of our major organizations, whether it's homecoming, whether it's the concert series, uh, whether it's the orientation uh, program for our students, uh, let alone the Greek system, we're trying to make sure that they all are inclusive, that they all have minority representation and, and points of view that need to be heard. And uh, we're making progress. But this was, it, it, to me, it's, it, I'm like you. I was, it's unbelievable to me that yeah. in this day and age, we could have anyone, and especially at our campus, where our students overall, including our Afro-American students, who are, have been very, I think, uh, helpful in this regard. And uh, I just can't imagine it happening. We're not going to put up with it. That's the message we're trying to send. We're, we're not going to put up with good it. Good luck to you.